So I told you a bit about Tusker, um, but there's five more tracks in the album, so let me tell you a bit about those. What about Danger No Shoulder? Sounds dangerous. Tell us about it. Yeah, that was actually. I mean, uh, it, it was supposed to be. Um, I mean, when I say all my music is visual, I mean that. So, in this case, it was about uh, one of the times that we've. Because I lived in Alaska for five years. So, um, one of the times when we were driving from New York to Alaska and um, in the dead of winter. So, I mean, the highest. Peak, I think we had to drive through was around five and a half thousand feet. But I mean, when it's like 30 below, it that's that's pretty damn high. So it was on one of these roads, and if you, I, I don't know, I don't know if you've ever seen any pictures of those roads in Canada, but in the, through the Rockies, but they look a lot like the ro roads in the Himalayas, like you know, no shoulder, gravelly, and you know, you just try to not look over. Like, and uh, ice everywhere, of course, and we were just driving, 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 trying to find, not really trying to find, because we knew that there was no place to rest for another hundred or so miles. And uh, suddenly this blizzard starts and just doesn't stop, and then you, know, you just have this little funnel of snow coming in at you. And I was just transfixed. I mean, it was one o'clock in the morning, well, why wasn't tired at all. I was just like looking at the road and headlights and snow and you know looking over the side and like I hope we don't go down there and, and um, it was just this and we had the Grateful Dead playing on the radio I remember not the radio but had a CD and and some really weird version of like Dark Star Caution Do Not Stop in the Tracks or something like that and just this whole sensory experience just kind of molded into one and then afterward I was like not immediately afterward, but for a year, couple of years after, I was like, that needs to become something. Like, whether it's a song or a, a, a poem or a short story, or some shit, that needs to be something. So just one day, I just yeah, decided, to, okay, I'm gonna write a song about it, and it came out. Any particular note? I mean that the intro, I mean that A part where it's sort of, there's a, it goes from a D minor to a D sharp minor, both over, it's like a polyharmonic kind of thing with them, um, with the C minor and the bass all in like together and that creates a sort of, that movement for me is really, it's kind of like teetering on the edge sort of, that sort of thing. You know? Follow the links in the description and download your copy of Chimu Fiesta today.